All right, so it seems that Zuka is getting ready to. He's finna. He's he's fixing to pull off one of his classic switcheroos. You know what I'm talking about when Azuka says one thing and then does the complete other thing, right? <laughs> because apparently Shadow is coming to Sonic Superstars, right? Superstars? Shadow? That doesn't make sense, right? But it sounds like they want to make 2024 the big year of Shadow, like how they've had all these years of Sonic. It sounds like we're going in that direction now. And <laughs> the rabbit hole gets pretty interesting. So again, it's all this right now. But subscribe to the channel already. Please make sure to subscribe, okay? So what are we talking about today? The official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter tweets this shit and says, Suit up and spread cheer to the North Star Islands this holiday season with the free Sonic Holiday Costume DLC in Sonic Superstars today. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? Who the fuck gives a fuck about this shit? It's Sonic Superstars, classic Sonic, holiday outfit. So what, right? They've done holiday outfits before, no one gives a fuck, right? But, it's where it gets interesting, because apparently they dropped an update for the game, which was multiple gigabytes. For what, holiday outfit? That doesn't make sense, right? It's just a few little, like a little hat and a eight gig? Like, that don't sound right. So the fans and the modders do what they do best. They start digging through the code. And they go through the code, and they find the holiday costume Sonic inside the code. And you see the model costume Amy there, which is what we already had from before. But they dig deeper, right? Sean T and Sanity style, they dig deeper. What do they find? Classic in brackets, Shadow is coming to Superstars. So they go through, these are the official files of the game from the update. Multiple people have verified this, and you can see that's the rabbit outfit there, you see the rabbit words there. And then you've got here Shadow character. And these are the files for Shadow put into the files of the game with this recent update to the game. You can go and look up the files and find this yourself. It's there. And that's not all that's there. There's more shit coming. Apparently, there's an IHOP Amy. For those of you who aren't American, that's a restaurant in America. It's IHOP. I've, I've heard of it because I know about it, but I've never been because, again, it's American. But, yes. IHOP Amy some kind of diner style amy outfit and they follow up hit saying here retro diner style amy internally referred to as i hope amy and then you got shadow costume sonic internally recognized as almost a separate character behaves like rabbits and then he also says there's also a very high likelihood that it's literally just sonic and a shadow onesie and then looks at the the code and then does the translation apparently says shadow kigurumi sonic and it says Sonic in shadow costume. So they're saying it's possible that it could be <laughs> some shit like this, right? And then there's even a poll asking like, what do you think it is? You think it's classic shadow, modern shadow or shadow or Sonic in a shadow onesie, right? I voted classic shadow because that fits most with the game, but you know, and this is where it gets interesting, right? Because Izuka said this wasn't gonna happen, right? It said, Shadow the Hedgehog won't be in Sonic Superstars, unsurprisingly, right? And he gave the whole spiel about it's the classics and we have to keep them pure and how it was in the 90s. And Shadow didn't exist in the 90s, so he can't be in Superstars even though Trip was there. Unfortunately, this is Zuka's words. Unfortunately, Shadow's not in the game. Sorry, all you Shadow fans. This is a classic series game. Therefore, we have to hold everything back. So do understand Shadow's not a part of the classic series. But apparently Trip is. Apparently Trip is, right? You had time to make another brown character for the game. You could have just used fucking Sally Acorn or something if you wanted to keep it true to the 90s. But apparently Shadow can't be... Black isn't allowed, but brown is. Okay, cool. Right? But in this article, if you look at the full quote, it says, Do be hopeful for Sonic 3. I think for those that saw Sonic 2, you saw a nice reveal after the credits. Do stay tuned for Sonic 3 and do know that we do want to create a game with Shadow in it for all our fans in the future. I don't know if he was subtly teasing the game that they are working on that's coming out in 2024 that features both Sonic and Shadow playable, but it's kind of interesting to think that after Azuka said that there wasn't going to be any Shadow, now there's teasers of Shadow. It's like, either Azuka lied and said that there was going to be no Shadow when there was going to be Shadow, which I really hope that's not the case. Or the other option is that he really genuinely thought that shit was, you know, like, we can't put Shadow in, it's a classic game. And then they realized, wait, hold on a minute. 
Modern carries the franchise. People want Shadow. This game ain't even selling. They went on record to say this game is not selling as much as they thought it would. Surprisingly, the game that came out how many days before Mario Wonder and Spider-Man 2 is not selling well. I mean, look, okay, if the game was fire, it could have still sold well even under those circumstances. Let me be clear. But, of course, it was mid. So, the game's not selling as much as we thought it would. Maybe a Superstars Plus, which includes Shadow, that comes out in 2024, during the movie hype, maybe after the movie trailers come out, maybe that will get people to buy Superstars because they will, in the trailer or during that hype period, will be like, Superstars Plus includes Shadow, buy it now. And then people will be like, hmm, I wasn't going to buy this classic mid, but now that Shadow's in it, we have to cop, right? So maybe he didn't lie. And in fact, he just realized that his way of thinking was totally wrong. And now we're getting Shadow, right? To me, that sounds more likely. I don't want to believe that he's a liar. I just want to believe that he was wrong. And he's come to see the light and realize that people want these characters and stick into that whole classic bullshit. It's just ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous, right? When Nintendo make a new 2D Mario game, not new 2D Mario game, but like a new 2D Mario game, they don't go everything has to be exactly the way it was in the 80s or the early 90s. You know what I mean? They just make a 2D game. And yeah, they have inspirations from the past, but they do new things. In fact, the most flack they got was the new Super Mario Bros. series because... After the first one, which is goated, they were just copying the same formula over and over again. Not because, not because they were afraid to change it because like it has to be this way or else. That was probably just laziness on their part. They were getting too comfortable. Whereas with Sonic, you know, I feel like they're not lazy and getting too comfortable. I feel like they're copying it the old way because they feel like that's the only way that can work because it has to stay classic. So that's not even a laziness thing on their phone. I feel, I feel like Nintendo's one was more laziness with the new Super Mario Bros. series. I feel like this one here is more like, but if we change it, the classic fans will be mad. We have to leave it the way it was so they buy it. Which is even more annoying in a way, because it's like, we know they could do something fresh, but they choose not to. But if this really is just a Sonic and Shadow outfit, I don't understand how that would be a good thing, because like... They talk so much about the canon and how Shadow was asleep for 50 years and that's why he couldn't be here or whatever the fuck because it wouldn't be making sense story-wise. But then it makes sense for classic Sonic to dress up as Shadow the Hedgehog. When the fuck would Sonic dress up as Shadow the Hedgehog? Like, like, well, like a Halloween outfit? Sonic wouldn't do that. Why, why would Sonic dress up as his number one rival? Well, maybe not his number one. I mean, his number one rival is probably Mount Sonic at this point. But you know what I mean, like... At one point was his rival, and Sonic's just gonna dress. Sonic is too cool to be dressing up as another character, right? Why would Sonic dress up as Shadow? It's almost like admitting that Shadow is cooler than you, so you're dressing up as him, right? When you dress up as someone, it's because you want to embody them, right? It's cool to dress up as them. Why would Sonic dress up as the guy that he rival? It, if it's just Sonic and a Shadow outfit, that's just wrong, right? It should be Shadow the Hedgehog, like him being there, right? Use the classic design if you want to, because, I mean, it's already a classic game at this point. You've already put classic models everywhere else. So, I mean, no point making Shadow more than everyone's going ever, ever, to be classic, right? Unless you're going to have a whole separate set of skins of modern ver versions of the character, or, or for all the characters. But if you're just going to have modern Shadow and everyone else be classic, then it just seems out of place, right? But it's clear that, yeah, I think Sega are finally starting to realize that this whole milking classic Sonic thing isn't going to work, because the people prefer modern sonic right they got a super sonic superstars twitter takeover or x takeover now and they're using modern characters because can't give voice acting to the classic characters they had the mcdonald's happy meal thing right i covered a short on that and it was a superstars ad but then the toys in the happy meal even though it was a superstars ad the toys are modern characters so they're trying to like merge the two because they feel like they've realized modern is more popular so now they're latching on to Superstars related things so they can sell them. So 2024 is looking like it will be a year for Shadow. It looks like we're getting that 2024 game with Sonic and Shadow playable. It looks like we'll be getting Shadow and Sonic Superstars. And that's going to be a lot of Shadow. I mean, there's more you could do. You could re-release Adventure 2, maybe remake it. I don't know if they'll do that in 2024. They could. I mean, maybe a re-release of the Advanced Trilogy, right? Like a nice little... You know, 4K widescreen, you know, re-release of the Advanced Trilogy. Add in Shadow as a playable character in all of them. That would be fire, right? A little side game. We're going to need something to play on our Steam Deck OLEDs and our Switch 2 and things like that. Advanced Trilogy on the Switch 2. High-res OLED. Well, I don't know if the Switch 2 is going to be OLED. They might do that whole ruin the screen and then make you buy a premium model years later kind of thing. 
But Advanced Trilogy, I'm just saying, if they want to make it the year Shadow, there's a few more things they could do. But nonetheless, I'm looking forward to this. I might even reinstall Superstars when Shadow comes out. But let me know what you guys think about this. Are you mad that they're adding a precious modern, or sorry, a modern character to the precious classics? Do you think it needs to stay separate? Separate but equal. <laughs> or are you happy that they're finally getting rid of this bullshit? This, this barrier that's just not done anything good for the series at all, ever, and they're finally just getting rid of it, okay? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. If you're still like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Of course, I'm soon to the channel, but that's all I have to say right now. So, Remy out.